Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today we are going to see an interesting topic called uh, Tableau missing values. So, what do I mean by uh, missing values? Okay, so let me show you a demo. Um, let me name this sheet as graph and let me create a new connection the data source which is an excel sheet um, okay naming it as test i'm bringing one data source and i'm going to draft it so here i'm going to use region and then uh, <coughs> And then order date. Okay. And then let me pull in sales. Okay. So if we see this uh, data, right? So we have a list of region and the date. So we have for 2011, 13, and 14. So what happened to 2012? And what happened after 2014 till date? till 2018 or till 2020 what would be in our data source we don't have data for 2012 but when i'm showing the trend i want to show what happened on 2012 as well so how to do that okay that's what today we are going to see so number one what we will do we will go to analysis in analysis, we have an option called a table layout. In table layout, we have a couple of options. One is show empty rows, another one is show empty columns. Okay, so let us enable show empty rows. We don't have any empty rows, which means uh, it has data for all the region. In analysis, again, go to, to table layout and enable show empty columns. So now it has filled in the missing value. Right, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 14. Okay, so now this is blank. I don't want this to be blank. I want something to be filled here. Okay, so I'm going to create a couple of calculated fields. Uh, one is I'm calling it as zero. I'm going to have zero, which I'm already having. Right. So when I named it as zero, which is having zero, and I have created one more field, which is called as um, populate zero. So here, what I'm saying is, whenever sum of sales is null, then bring the zero. Okay. So now I'm going to drag and drop this field here. And I'm going to change it to text. Okay. And go to text, go here, bring the both into the same line, click on OK. Done. So now, whenever there is no value, it is populating. So in the tooltip, it clearly shows whenever it has sales value, it is populating for sales. Whenever it don't have sales value, it is populating for populate zero. Okay. How to fake this? Uh, go here. Okay, cut, paste, delete. Okay, so now by default it will show it for sales. Okay, so alignment formatting that we can uh, do it later, uh, not an issue. Okay, so now if something is missing between this range, we are able to fill. Now I want to see what happened till date 2018. So how to do that? Um, there are multiple ways. One of the ways is uh, we have to touch the data source and we have to add the records, right? So that's what I'm going to show now. Okay. So I have created an Excel called Global Superstore um, with the dummy. Okay. So in this Excel, I'm going to um, demo how we can create the mapping table and how we can integrate it 
And then after integrating it, we need to union our actual table with this table. Okay. So I'm going to limit this session by showing how I have done. Uh, but in the real time, we will be having the SQLs uh, running every day so that uh, it will automatically take up the missing values. Okay. okay. So let's say um, if this is my superstore table. Okay. I'm running this query select distinct region from superstore table, which gives all the regions. Right. And I'm adding one more custom field called s underscore join key, where I'm defaulting it to A by default. So it has got all the regions with additional column A filled for all the rows. Okay. And uh, I'm putting one more query where it is showing what are all the years available in Superstore. Okay. So for this example, I assumed 2012 is existing in the table. So 2011, 12, 13, and 14. Even though if it is not available, whenever there is a missing value, we can use the missing function in Tableau as I shown before, and we can fill it up. Okay, so let's assume we have 2012 data as well. And then here I have one table called year table. So in this table, I have pre-populated values for 2011 till 2020. Okay, so so far we have seen table one, table two, and table three. Okay. And this is table three, sorry, table four. In table four, we are calling it as mapping table. Here, what we are doing is, right? So select of year from year table, select of year from year table, where year not in, select of year from compare. Okay, so this is a compare table. Okay, so this is a compare table, right? So here, what we are doing is, so, so here, what we are doing is, so we are trying to get the years which are not already in our table, right? So whatever highlight, yellow highlighted, it's already there in our superstore table, and we are collecting whatever is not available starting 2015 to 2012, right? So here we have got in. And then uh, we are adding one more column called M underscore JN underscore K. And here we are defaulting the values here. And we are adding one more column called a flag. Here we are defaulting the value to III. Okay. So once we've done this, what we are doing next is, we are trying to join these two tables, okay, using these two keys. For example, for example, if I do this join, it will become a quotation product, right? So here, how many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen into Six. That will be my output, right? It will be 78 rows. So what happens? So whenever I'm doing join, this will be joining here. Joining here. Joining here. Here, here, and then join here. Right? So, similarly, all these rows will be joining with this. Right? So, after joining, it becomes region S join key, this key, and M join key, it's coming here and year and flag right so we have generated all this field we have generated this table right so whatever things i have shown collecting this table and formulating this table and uh, taking the distinct and comparing with our table everything should be 
prepared as a data model and it should refresh whenever the extract is being refreshed right so all these things we will actually be using the custom sql in table and then once we create this so as of now in this table we have one two three four five columns right so what we have to do we have to add all other columns like we have sales we have uh, profit profit ratio etc all the columns we need to set it to a dummy value in our query so once we set it okay so this is our superstore data right so in the superstore data we are going to add these columns so one is s join key another one is uh sorry about this this column is not appropriate actually this is s join key and then this is a flag here i'm populating only a and even in s join key i'm populating a right so let us go down so how this table looks after union So when you come down, here you see here I have shown the table after unioning it, right? So after union, here I have populated dummy values, but these values, this order date, is the union from this year, and then this region is the union from this region, and then this A is the union from one of this A. and then this flag this is one of the main item flag which is distinguished so what our flag is telling a it is coming from the actual source whatever rows are showing i these are prepared okay this is not actual these are all the dummy records right okay so in short let me show the quick recap so we are having a set of tables so one table uh, this is a source table right from the source table uh, we are having region and uh, we are creating the join key and uh, we are having join key that's all so from the region we will be having uh, what is let's say asia Pacific something and join key we are populating on default value and similarly we are having one mapping table in mapping table we are having another uh, one join one flag actual region so join key is A A and flag we are populating it to I and then region let's say we have uh, I'm sorry this is not region this is a year. and in the year we are populating let's say 2012 2013 etc okay and then we are joining these two tables using this piece this will become a quotation product so after join we will be having region uh, join key is optional uh, we need not to have it is not going to be useful and year and flag Right. So in our actual table, we will be having region, year, flag. In the new table also, we are having region, year, and flag, and other columns. What are columns we are having? Right. From here to here, all those columns will be populating some dummy value like zero, n, a, something. And this flag is going to play the vital role in order to classify. Whether it's an actual record or a dummy record. Okay, so let me show. So um, let me create a new sheet for the dummy. So now what we will do? I'm connecting to with dummy. Okay, this sheet is called as with dummy, right? In with dummy we have orders. This is the place where we have created all this. Okay, let me show. So here, if you see. We have yes join key, and then especially we are having flag, right? 
we have active and inactive. Active is the actual rows and inactive is the dummy records which we have in here. So now what we are going to do, let's take the region and let's take the created date. As soon as I pull the created date, it's populating till 2020, but 2012 is missing because it's a missing value. So what we do, analysis, table layout, so missing columns. Let's populate sales. Okay, it's populating to everyone, but it's not coming here, right? So for that one, but one of the problem here is when you populate sales, it is going to add up the values from the dummy record. So we are having zero for the safer side. Let's say if you want to calculate the average, it is going to calculate the inactive records as well, right? So in that case, what we are doing, we are creating on calculated field. We are, we are saying whatever function you are applying, it can be sum, average, etc. Whatever you are applying, consider the field which is having only the active flag. Okay, and take that field. Got it? Okay, so I'm considering those field alone and I'm putting it in text. Okay, then how to populate zeros here? As usual, populate zero. In public zero, what we are saying is, last time we have used the sales, but here we are using sum of sales. I'm saying whenever sum of sales is null, put zero. Whenever sum of sales is null, put zero. That's all. We are good. So now we are having missing values, uh, which is 2012 and we are uh, having values populated for 2015 till 2020, okay? So this is one of the way to populate the dummy values. Uh, one is how to populate the values between the ranges. Another one is how to populate the additional uh, columns uh, showing the trend uh, till 2020 or something, right? Okay. I hope uh, this would help you. Uh, actually, this is uh, one of the real-time problem. Uh, when it comes to the production, I, I have limited uh, this video only for one field. When you go to the multiple fields, um, you you need to think about uh, this logic, especially when you are bringing the year, um, how it is going to be. Uh, when you have multiple missing value fields, how you can create. So this is one of the idea how to create the mapping table. But here, just you are going to populate this 2020-20 one time, right? Because the number of region uh, will be vary month by month. They may be adding additional regions. They may be removing the region. So when you're doing this join dynamically, it picks up and it generates the number of records. So currently it has generated 78. So based on the number of fields here, it automatically do the Cartesian product and it will generate. And so we are not hot putting anywhere apart from uh, this 2020. But if you are putting some trigger or some stored procedure, it can automatically calculate and it can automatically joins. And uh, the main logic here is this flagging technique. Okay, so whenever you want to showcase, uh, don't use the flag uh, for uh, X and Y axis or for headers in our view. Whenever you are doing calculation, uh, make sure to utilize this flag and consider only this active. Okay. Thank you. Um, please do subscribe to my videos. And if you uh, feel this will benefit others, uh, please uh, do share with others. If you have any question, please, please feel free to drop your comments or you can uh, email to our forum, uh, whichever you feel comfortable. Thank you. I will meet you all with another real time problem soon. Thank you.